Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mm -hmm. Day 12 of our quarantine. Uh, we're still surviving. Right. Had a little bit of a rough night last night. You want to fill them in on what was going on? <coughs> yeah, and it really gave us our topic for today. So, um, you know, for those of you who have been following us, um, Jeffrey and I were told that we have the coronavirus um, back on, I think, Tuesday. Well, Wednesday. Tuesday was the fever. Wednesday is when the diagnosis of the phone. Right, exactly. Um, uh, a week ago, Wednesday. So I think that was like the 10th or the 11th of March. Um, and um, we've done a couple of videos on our symptoms so if you're curious about that go through those videos because individually we had very different symptoms um, up until yesterday and um, what was surprising is that you know every time that i think i'm on the mend and i'm getting better um, i'll get a fever again and we talked to the doctor today we did have another doctor appointment today and he said that he has seen a lot of that where people think they're on the mend and all of a sudden, you know, everything comes back, you know, equally as bad as it's been or different symptoms. So um, for me, the fever keeps coming back. Um, I'm so happy to report I don't have any body aches today, but as of yesterday, I developed uh, that dry cough that Jeffrey has been fighting and his was really bad yesterday and um, you know at the exact same time mine got equally as bad so it gave us a good topic to talk about um, and the topic is fear and worry um, which they fulfill no useful purpose and we can tell you that we experienced fear and worry firsthand last night um, collectively and individually so collectively we were almost playing off each other's fear and worry um, because as we're both coughing and our test our chests are tightening up and it's feeling frightening because you're not able to get a breath like you normally do right well you start to wonder um, is this gonna get worse in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping exactly you know am I gonna um, am I gonna wake up dead? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's, not, not, it's not funny, but it's just it's not funny, right. but these are the things and this is what worry and fear do They start putting you down a path that Dark right and it really doesn't do anyone any good. Mm -hmm. So um, after a bit of um, You know, I'm gonna call it self-pity for each other because that's really what what it is well and, right? and um, to be fair, my oxygen was acceptable. You know, we have the ox oximeter, there it is mm -hmm. over there, so it's not far away. Um, my oxygen was acceptable, it was a little but it was lower, low. but my chest was tight. And right. so I breathed, bre uh, breathed in deep, I would get that dry cough. Right. But Karen's was um, really low. We started, obviously, we start to Google it like everybody does. Mm -hmm. You start to Google and you start to look at, well, if it gets below here, you gotta worry about this gets below here you really have to worry about this and you know you start touching those zones you you, you think wow um, am I gonna be able to get to the doctor tomorrow right right and what happens is you know I mean we love each other so much I think that when one of us hurts the other one hurts equally as much and Jeffrey's fear and panic over my uh, low oxygen really took over and he would you know he kept testing you know me all night long and when it was low you know it put us both into a panic about it again so um it, it just doesn't do anyone any good and when we look back on on last night it was a big waste of of our energy and our time um when instead um and i we finally got there where you realize that you're not doing any good yeah. and you're not getting anywhere right so um you're actually paralyzing right. yourself and so we decided let's do some um intellectual thinking here and progressive thinking and let's look up how do you raise your oxygen level now at 
that time. Obviously, we do live at high altitude. You know, an oxygen machine would be the answer, but we didn't have that last night. So um, thank goodness for the internet because, you know, we looked it up and some things that increase your oxygen um, are exercise and movement. Drinking water increases your oxygen. I mean, that's something that we were able to do last night. And so we each got a glass of water and we were able to use the energy for a purposeful mission instead of a paralyzing, I mean, fearful mission. It was open the windows was another one. It was probably, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, we had a snowstorm, so it was probably close to zero degrees, but I had the window open, you know. I guess the crack, but that fresh air coming in was kind of nice too. Right. That, that's what they recommend to increase your oxygen level. Exactly. And, you know, just knowing that, reading that it increases your oxygen level and that cold air coming in immediately gave us both a sense of, of calm that we desperately needed. And then plants, obviously we weren't able to go out and shop for any plants in the middle of the night. We do have a couple We though. do have a couple. Um, we usually uh, each have a small plant next to our bed that um, is supposed to be one that does release some oxygen. And then... Um, meditation. 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 That, that was key. We did a meditation last mm -hmm. night too that I think really calmed the mind and um, I went right to sleep. I think you probably didn't as quickly as I did, but right. we were able to kind of control our mind and, and you know drop back in, into the zone, if you will, uh, go inside and relax. That was huge. Exactly. I think the meditation was sort of the the final, um, you know, smart use of our of our thoughts and our energy in picking something that was really able to get us into a good flow and stop thinking of all of the things that could happen that are bad because they might never happen and instead think of all of the positive things that you can be grateful for and at that exact moment you know just laying in bed you know with the man of my dreams my best friend and you know there's no one else i'd rather be quarantined with and um, all the time that we've gotten to spend together and all the time that we, FaceTime we've had with both our daughters and my parents and your parents and our little blind dog sugar baby who's usually in these videos but she's sound asleep in the other room. So instead you just start focusing on all of these small little wins and you let go of the conversation in your head that is taking you down. And it's really hard to do that sometimes, right? right? Oh, it, it is, it is. You know, um, so a couple other things in talking to the doctor, it was interesting, Karen, so we talked to the doctor today. It was over FaceTime, by the way. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely I'm getting a glimpse into the future. We said, you know, this is really the future. For one, yeah. it was good for us. We don't really wanna go into the doctor's office if we don't have to. Um, there's a lot of sickness and virus around there usually. Um, so uh, they don't want you coming there if you've got um, coronavirus. So we did that uh, via FaceTime on the uh, laptop, which was great. And we did get an oxygen concentrator. So if you don't know what that is, it basically sucks in the air um, in, in your room. And I believe it takes the nitrogen out. I'm not expert here. I just got read something last night, but it uh, increases the level of oxygen that's pumping into uh through, through a hose into your nose so uh we have a oxygen concentrator tonight so that's going to be something kind of uh, interesting for us it will be yeah. you know. so I'm, I'm so excited we have that for you i wish we yes I, <clears throat> when i was worried last night i wish we would have had so i think your oxygen is is great now mm -hmm. and it by the way it gets lower at night that was what we learned mm -hmm. <clears throat> and with the um oxygen oxygen concentrator I think um, we'll be in good shape tonight. Right, well, it, it's really a comfort, and that's another great point is, you know, make sure that you have the tools that you need in order to eliminate a lot of the fears. You know, we could have gone through another night without that, um, or, or not, I don't know, you know, uh, but we could have tried, and we just thought that's really not gonna, you know that that's not the right plan right. so we have that 
And like Jeffrey said, we got a glimpse into the future. You know, they asked if we had the oximeter, and guess what? We did, and they asked for both of us to test our oxygen and our heart rate while we were on our online doctor appointment. And so we did that ourselves, and then they asked for um, my temperature, and I had that handy right here too. So just a few things to have on hand. Right. A lot of people don't have a thermometer, and if you do, I know a lot of people don't have a working thermometer right. because these don't last. Right, and they're not very expensive. Everyone should have one. Have one. <clears throat> right. And then a lot of people, we've talked about this every day, but I just, <clears throat> I have to say that this has been uh, a godsend in monitoring, you know, where we're at, right? right? right. And, um, and it gives us a lot of comfort. And now that we've got the oxygen machine in it, it will give us that much more comfort um, to know that we're gonna be at an acceptable level tonight. Yeah, it's always great to have these tools. I mean, we live in a, <clears throat> we live in a world where we have a lot of help. Um, that was just our coffee machine that was shutting down over there. And, <clears throat> you know, we always have back here, Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.58 p.m. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. So it's great to have these creature comforts, but it's, 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 it's fun. It is kind of weird that she's always listening. But anyway, um, oxygen, oxygen, I know I can't say that, oxygen concentrator. We've got that for tonight. Mm -hmm. I think everything's going to be fine. I'm actually feeling really good that we are on the right path. I know we've said this a few times, but right. I think this is indicative of this. When we talk to the doctor, there's lots of different uh, ways this sets up. Uh, basically, he said two. It's taking two to three weeks for people to go through and get this cleared out of their system. So some people don't show any signs. They don't even know they have it. But those that have it, it takes uh, two to three weeks to clear it out. Right, and he was comparing it to the flu, which is, you know, traditionally takes people a week to two weeks to get over, um, which we did test negative for the flu. Um, but this is taking much longer. And so we just need to be patient. Listen, it's not like we can go anywhere. You know, we live up in the mountains. We actually got a notice that there's a blizzard warning um, going on up here, which, you know, we're not driving anywhere, so it's kind, of, kind of makes it a little bit more romantic it's and exciting. And um, there's another talking, <laughs> <laughs> another talking technology. Um, so, you know, I, I just think it's really important for everybody to let the fear go and understand that it doesn't do any good. It paralyzes us and it keeps us from doing something that could be more helpful. Um, so release the fear and uh, meditation. I can't tell you enough. I know we just learned that it helps increase your oxygen, but I also know that for us, it really is helpful in setting our day. And you know, one of the um, other YouTubers that we listen to a lot is um, Dan, um, Radio Style, yeah. and I, we just love his show. If you haven't watched it, check it out. And he's got a really magnetic voice too, so that's super cool. Um, but he was saying the same thing that, you know, meditation is a part of his every day, but the last few days, for whatever reason, he's been a little bit busy and hasn't been able to fit it in and he feels the effects yeah. of not doing it. And um, which is kind of funny because we've had a similar situation and then I think to myself, it's not like we've had to go anywhere. Yeah. So, uh, how, how are we that busy? You know, it's so funny <clears throat> because you're right. When I was listening to him uh, today, when he said that, I kind of got a smile on my face because that happens to us quite a bit when you get right. too busy to meditate. Like you can't right. take 10 minutes to 10 or 20 minutes in the morning to meditate. Right. Crazy. Um, so I was so grateful for his reminder to remind us um, because yesterday we didn't meditate until the middle of the night when we were already down this path. Right. And who knows if we had meditated in the morning like we usually do. So um, meditate, meditate, meditate. And if you need any recommendations for meditations, uh, Insight Timer is so great. There is a one called Peace Beam. They're five minute meditations everyone has five minutes and i just think those are fantastic well there's tons um, here on youtube all you have to do oh is type in um, increasing your um your oxygen levels meditation sleep meditation type it in obviously 
you'll get tons of uh, great stuff out there. It's, it's so nice, it's all there, and it's all free for you to take advantage of. Exactly, and the key to meditation is don't worry if you still have monkey mind in your thinking. It's to listen to a meditation that you resonate with, where you are soothed and comforted by their voice. We really like guided meditations and some guided with music in the background. And um, it's funny because certain voices really work for me and other voices really work for Jeffrey and there are voices that work for him and not me and I actually can get irritable trying to meditate to I know to some of those people so the key with meditation is to make sure that you are listening to sounds that resonate and soothe your personal soul and um, that's that's super key and, and who cares if you've got monkey mind during it, let your mind wander and, and then come back to your meditation and let it wander and come back. And yeah, I think that's it for tonight. No, it's good stuff. I'm, I'm feeling uh, really good compared to how I felt. Now I'm feeling great too. I think we're going to we'll watch a fun movie and hit the hay early tonight. And there is an absolutely beautiful snowstorm out here at Copper Mountain. Yeah. Um, Jeffrey and I might be the only two up here at Copper Mountain. The two of us and the fox that keeps walking uh, by every single night. She didn't come through yet because you can see it's all fresh snow, so mm -hmm. we'll see her tracks. But she comes right up to our deck, goes around the side of the deck, around the side of the building, and then she crosses the street over there because we saw her. Uh, it was still dusk. We could still see her last night. It's like a, I think it's a red fox, but she's very silvery. It's beautiful. Yeah, but yeah. I think when they're younger, you know, they're gray sure. when they're kids. I think she's still, yeah. like, getting that... Uh, well, orange fur that comes through the grass. We'll have to Google that, but yeah. I think maybe it's a, the winter coat that's thick and yeah. it's, like, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, I want to shout out to whoever it was who said that, you know, they were going to think about maybe going plant based after our last video. I just have to tell you that warms my heart. One of the other ways to increase your oxygen that we didn't talk about, mainly because this was during the night and so it wasn't something that we were going to do but it's to eat very, um, you know, high nutrient, high mineral, high iron, iron yeah. foods. Um, like spinach like would be a good exactly one. Exactly, yeah. spinach and I believe kale and mm -hmm. Swiss chard and all of those really wonderful um, high nutrient foods. And so again, you can help your health and the health of the planet. Um, so that really touched my heart to the person who um, put that comment. Great. Yeah, wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the Nesta Copper Mountain. Be safe out there, guys.